Welcome back. You're watching Centerline Designs. My name's Cole, and this is the Centerline Designs custom built aluminum snowcat. That's right, you heard it. This is one of a kind. There's no other vehicle like this. Uh, my goal is to go for like an Argo meets a snowcat. This thing is going to be amphibious. It's going to float. If it breaks through the ice, it's not going to sink. Will it get back out? That's to be determined. Who knows? But the big thing is not going down to the bottom of that lake. Um, if you're new to the build, it's going to be backed up with a 1.9 liter Volkswagen ALH turbo diesel. That is driving a set of piston pumps that are going to provide the hydrostatic drive for this machine. It's three doors. It's going to seat five people. And I plan on working this machine. It's eventually going to get a big old blade on it. I want to get into remote areas, haul goods to places that they, you know, you have trouble getting stuff. Take it ice fishing, hunting, you name it. Um, we use a little mini key truck all the time for running around my property in our area and this is just going to fit the family that much better um, and unlike a lot of the build videos out there on the internet these days I plan on working this thing it needs to be built with quality and reliable so it's taken a bit longer but so far I am really happy with the progress um, forgive me if I'm, I'm starting to get a little sick my daughter just got over strep and scarlet fever together and I definitely feel some strep coming on but uh, that's not going to stop me today. i got to get out here and get something done. I've been getting really anxious to make some progress on this build. If you want to see more of the build videos, check out. I have a playlist. Um, I've been working on this thing for nearly a year now. It's really coming along. Um, if you like the build, let me know. Share a comment. Hit that subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. This is the first kickoff project. I also, hopefully, if it works out, I have a house lift series coming this summer. We're going to take our entire house and lift it about five feet higher, put a basement in under it. It's going to be a really, really cool project. I lifted a house last year over 10 feet on 13 foot cribs. So you'd be able to see my win or my fail. Uh, today in this video, we're going to separate this hull apart. So the cab and everything, I'm going to lift off with the jib hoist. And then the bottom hull, we're going to start closing that in and completely seam welding it so it's watertight. It's, uh, it's a step I've really been wanting to do. I think it's going to start to transform this thing and give a little bit better idea to people what I'm going for. So yeah, um, so far I'm really happy with the progress. I urge you to go back, take a look at all the videos. And uh, you know, if you've been enjoying it, drop that comment, hit that subscribe. This has been a really cool build. I've had a ton of fun on it so far. I have no idea when it's going to be done, but just keep plugging away at it, right? All right, let's get to work. All right, well, it took a little bit to figure out. <laughs> it's a little wobbly, but it's not going to flip. So <clears throat> let's get this bottom out of here and then set her down. Thank <laughs> you. 
All righty. There we go. <clears throat> what do you think? Should that be the thumbnail? Well, that didn't go too bad at all. Got the cab off of the lower frame. You can see, like, this thing isn't that heavy. Um, but the sides, the bottom, are all going to get completely welded in, <clears throat> as with some bottom of the cab, too. And uh, it's going to form a hull, basically like a boat. So, with that being said, I have the material cut up on a shelf. I need to get that down. Uh, I'm going to pull all the tires off and uh, get this flipped over. So I'll, I'll get some of that stuff done and then we'll start fitting and welding. I think I've said it in other videos, but I love this crane. to start welding stuff on. I'm gonna have to go ahead, smooth down a lot of these welds from when we built the chassis. So I'm gonna do the bottom first, we'll get those smoothed out. I'm gonna get the pieces ready to get bent for all the campers on the front and the rear. And we're gonna clamp it in and start welding. So, oh, to start, I guess my favorite thing, let's do some grinding. Okay, well, I got some of the grinding done, and now, like I say, the bottom of the machine is going to have 3 16 aluminum plate as a skid plate, so it's going to be pretty heavy duty. Um, it's going to have to go in in a couple of pieces because I can only get it in 10 foot lengths, and, uh, you know, the front and bottom and rear end is well over that. So we'll have a joint on one of the axles towards the rear, 
But uh, this front, I need to get this, these bends on it. So I'm going to work on laying those out and then we'll take it over to the press brake and we'll get the bends put in so that it can go in and then we'll start clamping, tacking it down and uh, stitch weld it, kind of making our way around the vehicle because I don't want to put too much heat into one side. This lower frame already has a slight twist in it from doing all the fully, all the, you know, seam welding and all the tubing. I'm never going to get it out now. It's not that bad, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. But uh, spreading heat around when you're doing a lot of welding is a good idea. It just really keeps things from getting out of shape. So let's do some layout and then let's do some bending in the press brake. Well, that's good. Both sides match so far. Perfect. Gotta try and make things easy. I'm going to take my time with this. This isn't a cheap piece of aluminum. I really don't want to screw it up. Uh, it needs a little more.
All right, well, this bend is pretty good. I mean, it really takes nothing to bring that back in. And even this, you know, I can clamp it in with my hands pretty easily. So I'm pretty happy with that. There's not, not really much complaining there. The big thing is that the bends pretty much line up where they need to. So, all right, well, the front end's looking really good. Now, I figured I was going to have to cut this down to one of the axles to make a joint along it, but, and I didn't even check this ahead of time. I just figured it was going to be long. I'll cut it down to where I need, but, well, let me grab the camera and show you this. I mean, there's getting lucky and there's getting lucky. It's not quite centered on the axle, but that doesn't matter because I can lay a nice seam in there, bring the other one in, another nice seam in there, and then this back part can wrap around. So that's looking really good. Really good. Like I say, this isn't too big a deal. Okay, well this is just a little bit of the test fit here with some clamps. I just wanted to see if I could finish that bend with clamps without developing a large bow. And uh, I think we'll be quite good. I'm also gonna come up in here and lay, uh, get a clamp on it and lay a little stitch there. But I don't know if you can see this, it's pretty flat. I love clamps. Well, I've pretty much got everything set up here. <clears throat> it's all clamped. Got to get some wire brushing done. Um, hopefully I can get a long ways on this today. I don't know. Um, my throat is starting to really kill me. I am not, not feeling good here. So I don't know if I'll uh, call her quits or not. It should be a shame because I haven't worked on this a whole ton. But I'm not going to do it if I feel like crap. So anyways, let's get some wire brushing, start welding, and... Uh, Maybe I'll just find my zone and, and keep going, but uh, let's get to her. All right, with everything set up, wire brushed, pretty much uh, ready to go here. So, commence welding montage. Okay, well, I got the round of passes done there, and I'm really happy with how that's welding in. Um, I don't think you can ask for too much more than that. 
you know, it is a spool gun. It's not TIG, but that is going to be watertight. So I'm very happy with that. Okay. Getting some nice long passes in. Like I say, I've done one lap around, so uh, I'm going to let my gun cool down a little bit. I don't feel like burning that up, and then I'm just going to keep making passes around. All right, so funny enough, before I decided to build the snowcat, I had my heart set on building one of those mini 12-foot uh, jet boats, the jet stream kits. Um, even I went so much as to buy the GSX Sea Dew, the I think 215 horse supercharger that's sitting outside awaiting to go into a boat. Um, but I changed my mind. I figured a winter vehicle would be a little more practical for the family. I already have a pretty perfectly good boat. However, the irony isn't lost on me here that I'm essentially building a boat right now. And my wife just came in to help me get some nice video of actual welding. And she kind of laughed because she's like, I think building the boat may have been way faster. And I think she's right. The amount of engineering and work going into this thing is uh, substantial. I think it's going to be really cool and there's not going to be another vehicle like this out there. I'm pretty sure it's going to turn heads when, once we get it fired up and start driving it. So. That's 22, so we're going to go down to 20. Well, we got it all cut out here, so I guess it's time we get some bending done on this. Just a little awkward. Just the camera. All right, turn it up. 
pretty nicely. I screwed up. <clears throat> yeah, it fits really good. Except I added an inch in somewhere. <clears throat> awesome. Okay, well, uh, it's not gonna be too big a deal. I'm just gonna have to cut this, take an inch out of here and put a seam at the back. I was hoping to do it in one piece, but oops. Oh, see, it doesn't really matter if you screw up. It's all about knowing how to fix your screw ups, right? So, one extra joint, big deal. I did have enough material, I could have redone it, but it wasn't worth the time. I mean, cut it, fit it, and keep moving on. All right, well that was pretty quick to fit up. I got it all roughed in. I'm just gonna get tacking it on. Okay, well that gun just stopped on me again. It's getting uh, <clears throat> a little later in the day. So uh, I don't feel like fixing it again. Everything needs to cool down. So I think I'm gonna call that good for this video. And then in the next one, we are gonna, I'll finish welding this off probably off camera, but then we're gonna be rolling this and we need to get the sides on. So um, that's gonna require some notching. And then these back ends here are gonna require um, you know, a little bit of custom fab to get in here and, and make it the way I want it. So, uh, and then we're also going to give it spots for the hydraulic hoses to go through. So anyways, if you like the content, as always, uh, hit that like, subscribe, please leave a comment. Um, I think this is going to be a pretty cool machine and, uh, I hope everyone's enjoying the build. So thanks. We'll see you next time.